light here, folks. Not to worry. Just hiding in my camouflage gear. <laughs> I just found this interesting creature. Do you know what it is? I sure do. This is a common wombat, also known as Vombatus ursinus. <laughs> Wow, is that the one distributed on the southeastern coast of Australia and also in Tasmania? It sure is. It also has a fascinating burrowing behaviour. Wow, can we find out more about that? Absolutely. Let's do it. What's that over there? Now this is a great potential burrow down here. A wombat burrow can be from 3 to 30 metres, 3.5 metres deep and usually holds a wombat for one to four days when it's active. Now this one here looks like an active burrow, given the characteristic cube-shaped poo that the wombats give. But I don't think we'll see any out here until it's dark. The common or bare-nosed wombat is one of three species in Australia, and this one is known to have the most complex burrowing system of the three. So you've got one entrance to the burrow on this side, but if you go around here, there's another entrance down there. Another entrance down there. And you can even see through here that there is a complex network. So as we said before, the common wombat is a nocturnal species, so unfortunately we won't see any now. Guess we'll just have to wait until it's dark. Wow, that was quick. Let's go. <laughs> Crikey, have a look at the size of this one. Now note those powerful stocky front legs. The wombats use these to burrow with but only using a single front paw at any given time, alternating each side approximately every five minutes. The wombat then uses its large hind rump to push the soil out behind it and out of the burrow. Burrowing has evolved as a way to escape the heat of the Australian day. As we all know, it can get pretty toasty down under, but also as a way to run and hide from predators, as this individual is showing quite adequately. Furthermore, the wombat has also evolved a very thick butt plate and skin, which it uses to block the entrance to the burrow from predators, therefore protecting their young. Further adaptations favouring a burrowing lifestyle include a backward-facing pouch, which would have evolved to counteract the effect of scooping dirt into their pouch, which would be very detrimental to young suckling at the teat. Lastly, it still remains unknown if wombats undergo torpor whilst in the burrow. Many of their fellow smaller marsupials do this, however, more study is required to understand if this is a similar pattern in the common wombat.